400 years ago, the transatlantic slave trade emerged as Africans were forcibly taken from their land and exported all over the world for purposes of forced labor. It is hard to imagine anything as brutal as what occurred during that time. Entire nations and economies were built on the backs of slaves. What is shocking, however, is that in our modern day civilized society, slavery has once again emerged with a brutality that rivals anything in history. In fact, the scope and gravity of this issue is utterly staggering. Conservative estimates project that there are 27 to 30 million slaves on the earth right now. And some experts estimate that there are as many as 200 million. One of the most appalling aspects of today's slavery is the fact that 70 to 80 percent are sex slaves. We're seeing entire economies fueled by the sexual exploitation of women and children. One author called this the human rights issue of the 21st century. We can no longer continue to talk about slavery as a relic of the past. It is time for us to recognize that slavery is a major battlefront facing our generation. The plight of those in slavery today tells one of the most tragic stories in human history. The vast majority are women and children who are being forced into prostitution and other forms of sexual exploitation. It's horrifying to imagine an individual being raped just one time, just once. But these victims are thrust into lives of ritual, systematic abuse. Their whole life is consumed in meeting the demands of their captors. These girls are forced to, to service as many as 40 men in a single day. And, and it's not uncommon either for a girl who's, who's been enslaved just two to three years to have had as many as a dozen abortions or more. The, the physical, the emotional, the spiritual trauma this wreaks on an individual is simply indescribable. The question that often comes up is how does slavery exist in our modern day civilized society? There are several factors we need to consider. First of all is the issue of globalization. The trend towards globalization has made it possible for an industry to emerge where now humans can be bought, sold, and traded on an open market. Human trafficking has actually been called the dark side of globalization. Secondly is poverty. Grinding poverty in various places has created a desperate situation that often leaves people extremely vulnerable to being exploited. Organized crime is another contributing factor. Human trafficking is the second most profitable industry for organized crime groups. These groups are highly motivated and highly sophisticated. They generate huge profits and are rarely prosecuted. One of the most disturbing features of today's slavery is the government corruption and complicity that allows it to continue. Very little is done to stop slavery, and frequently cases come up where government officials and police officers are found complicit in the slave trade. The problem underlying all of this is the demand for sex. The widespread proliferation and normalization of pornography has given way to a generation of men who are beginning to rise up and demand that their sexual fantasies be fulfilled and is coming at the cost of the enslavement of our women and children. Exodus Cry exists to answer the crisis of modern day slavery. We're raising up a global prayer revolution to confront the powers of injustice that are enslaving our women and children. We can do all the awareness campaigns, we can do all the fundraising, we can even do all the activism, but the reality is that if angels and demons do not move, nothing is going to change. This is a battle that we must win in the heavens. Exodus Cry is summoning an army of intercessors and prayer warriors to arise to contend for the ending of slavery in our generation. This is about partnership with the heart of God. Jesus himself said that he was anointed by the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord to set the captives free, to heal the brokenhearted, and to deliver all who are oppressed. Jesus is the great deliverer.
and we've left him behind in our effort to bring about change. Let's enter into his burden over this issue and begin to cry out that we would see the deliverance, salvation, and restoration of every person in slavery today.